morning everyone myself maruti welcome you to ramarth tutorials now i'm going to deal with a question right uh, which is uh, generally a competitive examination question of course it starts from the foundation of this core sum has been laid i can say from 7th and 8th classes and it continues for every competitive examination so the sum deals with the combination of the coins the value of the money right we are having different coins in a general system it may be 1 rupee coin or 2 rupees coins or but when it is taken in a tricky way when it is 1 rupee coins directly the value becomes the number of coins it has right so when we are dealing with uh, money related sums obviously he'll be dealing with the sum in terms of 50 paise coins or 25 paise coins of course generally we don't come across all those nowadays but for dealing with the sums right why because the 50 paise is nothing but half of a rupee and 25 paise is a quarter of a rupee so basing upon this one not only money related if it is related with the uh, dealt with the marks or negative scoring positive scoring all those the past two marks negative marks deduction all these sums are connected to the say this sum now so let me select a sum right in, in which we will be dealing with the money and its values number of coins and the value of the coins what is the total let's come across this sum now so if you see this sum right ashok has a kiddie bank we are talking about a student and uh, and uh, generally in stuff bank we are dealing with a kiddie bank here right ashok is having ashok has a kiddie bank in which he has uh, coins of 1 rupee and coins of 50 paisa a kiddie bank and it has coins of 50 paisa and also coins of 1 rupee and it and uh, now he has given the relation between the number of 1 rupee coins and the number of 50 paisa coins what's the relation between them so what he says it contains three times as many as 1 rupee coins right how many does how many 50 paisa coins does uh, uh, mr ashok has means exactly setting a relation right the number of 50 paisa coins are exactly equals to three times of the coins as he has with the 1 rupee now what else he says now the total value of the money what he has in the kiddy bank he can hear it clearly he is saying the value of the money what he has is nothing but 35 rupees so just uh, now the question goes on how many coins are there of each kind how many 1 rupee coins are there and how many 50 paise coins are there that's the question right if you check it out right he is talking about a kiddy bank right let us imagine a kiddy bank in that one what are all the coins he has placed he has placed 1 rupee coins and also 50 paise coins right 50 paise coins now the question are number of number of rupee one coins how many are there right. so number of 50 paise coins how many coins are there these are nothing but the question what we are having now so but the, please remember the total number of coins in the kiddy bank we are supposed to calculate and the value the total value he has given a relation or he has given a value for us that is nothing but 35 rupees okay now the relation is the number of 1 rupee coins right are how many are there right what is this now he has given relation with the 50 paise coins how many 50 paise coins are there exactly three times of the number of coins as one rupee has so now let us set the equation what he has now let us take it what he has given what he has given or let us consider uh, a value a value right right given the total value given the total value total value of money what is the total value of money has it's nothing but so the total value is rupees 35 that is the total value so now what we are supposed to find it out we have to find it out both number of coins one rupee has and number of coins of the 50 paisa now as he has given relation what he has given relation 50 paisa coin is related with one rupee coin you got it 
50 paisa coin is related to 1 rupee coin. Now, first let's assume the number of 1 rupee coins. There the sum starts. Let the number of, let the number of 1 rupee, 1 coins. We don't know that. So let us take it as x. How many number of coins are there? Let it be x. Now, now we have to set a relation or know the number of coins as many as 50 uh, paisa coins are. He has given the relation. He has given relation. According to the relation, according to the relation or according to the problem, according to the problem. What is the question he has given? Right. According to the problem, number of 50 paisa coins are three times of the number of 1 rupee coins. So, number of, number of 50 paisa coins, number of, right, 50 pies coins, how many are there? Red equals three times, three times of number of rupee one coins, right? This is the relation what he has given. If you check it out, number of 50 paisa coins are nothing but three times of the number of uh, one rupee coins. Now, how many number of one rupee coins we have assumed? It's nothing but x. So, which implies, which implies number of 50 pies, right? How many coins we have, right? Straight away, we can straight away guess it's nothing but 3x. Okay, so now there are two things. Number of 1 rupee coins are x and number of 50 paisa coins are 3 years according to the relation what is given in the question. Okay, now let's go with the value. Till now we were discussing about the number of coins. Now let us relate the sum with the total value of the money what's there in the kitty bank. Okay, now let's go with the values now. Let's go with the value. Right, we know the number of 1 rupee coins is nothing but the value of that many. Okay, if there are 5 coins, it means 5 rupees. If there are 10 coins, it's nothing but 10 rupees. Here, how many coins are there? Straight away, X number of coins. Right, a number of, number of rupee 1 coins is equal to uh, that many value value of right uh, rupee one is it a picado so how many number of coins are there it's nothing but x number of coins are there so what's the value x rupees x you have to remember that one so what he says number of one rupee coins is equal to value of that right value of the rupee value of rupee so how many number of coins are there it's nothing but x number of coins therefore how many rupees x rupees so it's an important thing what you have to remember now this is the first point what you have learned here now let's get back to the other one what's the value of uh, 50 paisa coins you know you you know we call 50 paisa as half rupee right we call uh, 50 paisa as half rupee means whatever the value the one rupee has 50 paisa has exactly the half of that Right. If x is the value of, if x is the value of uh, 1 rupee, what will be the value of uh, 50 paisa? x by 2, half the value of 1 rupee. That's what. So, we will go for that one. So, value means value of, value of 3x. How many number of coins are there? 3x. So, value of 3x, 50 paisa coins. 50 pies coins. Let us take the value. So, shall I straight away say what is the value here? Right? We can say number of pies, that is number of 50 coins, coins, right, into value of that one. Value, right, in terms of 1 rupee. So, which equals how many 50 pies of coins are there? It's nothing but 3x and the value. Just now we have said it's nothing but what's that? One half of the rupee. Half of the rupee. Just now we have learned that one. So number of 50 paisa coins are 3x. And what is the value of that one? Half of the rupee. Therefore, straight away what I'm taking, I'm taking that as 3x by 2. 
All right, 3 into 1, 3x by 2. What's the value of the 50 paisa coins now? 3x by 2 rupees. Okay, that's the relation what we got. Now, let's get back. Number of 1 rupee coins, x. Right? Now, number of, number of 50 paisa coins, 3x. The value of the 1 rupee coins, the total in the kiddie bag, it's nothing but as many coins are there, as many rupees. That's what you take it as the value is rupees x, right? Which one? 1 rupee. Now, if you come to the value of 50 paisa, it's nothing but rupees 3x by 2. Okay, now let's set the equation what we have. Let's give, take the one what he has taken here. Total value. We are dealing with the total value. Right. So total value has nothing but, right, value of, value of rupee 1, right, plus value of 50 paisa coins, 50 coins. And of course, of course, he has given it's nothing but total value. It's nothing but the total value. Okay, now you got it. You got it. How many, what is the value of the one rupees here? It is value of rupee one and the value of 50 paisa is nothing but the total value. Total value he has given it as 35 and one rupee coins the value is nothing but, it's nothing but x. Plus, what is the value you have taken of the 50 paisa? It's nothing but 3x by 2. Of course, it's nothing but the total value. We got it as 35. Okay, so the value. Of course, the, these are in terms of rupees and the, these are also in terms of rupees and these are in terms of uh, rupees. Straight away, that rupees, the rupees, these all are in terms of the rupees. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm taking rupees common and we can cancel it off. The rupee, rupee, rupee and it gets a cancel it off. Now, after canceling it out, let us take the LCM as you know, let us deal with the calculations. It is nothing but 2x and it is nothing but 3x. Total value is nothing but 35 rupees. So here comes 5x by 2 is equal to 35. If you cross it, we are getting 5x is equal to 70 and x is equal to 70 by 5. Okay, so what is that the x? Number of 1 rupee coins. If you simplify that, 5 ones, 5 ones, 5 fours. So x is equal to 14. What is that x? x is nothing but number of 1 rupee coins. That's what we said. How many number of 1 rupee coins are there? It's nothing but the X. Therefore, number of rupee 1 coins. Right. Equals how many? It's X. Now, how many 50 paisa coins are there? What is the relation we have? It's nothing but 3X. Let's get back to that one. So, number of, number of, right, 50 paisa coins. Right? Just now it will be got it. It's nothing but 3 into the 1. What is that one? 3x. Of course, we got the value of x as 14. Right? If you calculate the number of coins, what we are getting is nothing but 42. Okay. So, number of 50 coins, 50 pies coins equals 42. So, the here is a tricky sum which is dealing with, right, it's dealing with the value of the money and the number of coins. The only thing what we have to remember is 50 paise is half of the rupee and 25 paise is quarter of a rupee. If you know the relation, straight away we can go for that one. And one more important point is always remember the relation. And first, Get back to the number of x, right, to which it is compared. Find the relation and you can straight away get it. Hope you are able to understand with that one. It's a problem with the dealing with the number of coins and the value of the money. Hope you liked it and hope you are able to understand. If you are interested, subscribe the channel. Maruti from Ram Maruti Tutorials. Thank you.